13th question for what value of x okay the given numbers are in gp okay if i take what if i take yeah, if i substitute the value of x then these three numbers should be in gp i repeat the question for what value of x the number x plus 9 x minus 6 and 4 are in gp what what value if i take that will be in gp if i take one whether they get gp or not 2 3 and so on so very clearly you will take a first term as x plus 9 and the second term as x minus 6 and the third term as 4 very clearly since it is gp we know that the ratio of second term to that of the first term will be equal to the ratio of third term to that of the second term okay similarly the ratio of fourth term to that of the third term so on it continues since we have only three terms i have taken the ratio of second term to that of the first term is equal to the ratio of the third term to that of the second term what is the second term i have x minus 6 e is 2 what is the first term x plus 9 is equal to what is the third term we have 4 e is 2 what is the second term x minus 6 so as we know that the ratio can be written in the division form divided by x plus 3 which is equal to 4 divided by x minus 6 we cross multiply x minus 6 Whole square is equal to four into x plus nine. Now this will be this you can expand according to the formula a minus b whole square a square plus b square minus two times of a into b is equal to four into x four x plus four into nine thirty six. So x square plus 36 minus 12x. You bring the all that inside minus 4x minus 36 equal to zero. So plus 36 minus 36 will get cancelled. X square minus 12x minus 4x. Same sign. Add I get minus 16x equal to zero. Among these two, I can take x common. X minus 16 is equal to zero. Very clearly, x equal to zero. X minus sixteen equal to zero. X is equal to sixteen. So therefore, the value of x are zero as well as sixteen. Right? I repeat this uh, again. Given for what value of x the given numbers are in geometrical progression. Right? So here, very clearly, the first term is. X plus nine. Second term I have taken x minus six, and the third term as four. Since it is geometrical progression, we know that the ratio of uh, the terms will be equal. So the ratio of second term to that of the first term will be equal to the third term to that of the second term. So second term is x minus six. Is to first term is x plus nine, which is equal to what is the third term? Four, and second term is x minus six. The ratio I have written in the fraction form. So after the fraction form, I have taken the cross multiply. So x minus six, x minus six is nothing but x minus six whole square. Four of x plus four. This you expand according to the formula a minus b whole square. A square plus b square minus two ab is equal to four into x is four x. Then four nine times is thirty six. So x square as it is, six square will be thirty six. Minus as it is, two into six is twelve x. So bring the the one which is on the right hand side to the left hand side. So plus four x will become minus four x plus thirty six will become minus thirty six will be equal to zero. So plus thirty six minus thirty six will get cancelled and get x square. Both are like terms. Both are of same sign. So I should add and get minus sixteen x. Okay, add and write the greater number sign. So among these two, I can take x common. I get x minus six equal to zero. So x equal to zero one term. X minus sixteen is equal to zero another term. So therefore, x equal to sixteen is also the value. So hence, the value of x will be zero and sixteen. If I take x as zero, 
or x has 16, the given terms are in, we are in geometrical proportions. Please note down. 